Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, this video, I'm going to quickly walk through the syllabus for our course, uh, walk through some of the Blackboard stuff, the toolbars over here, and show you how everything's set up and how it's going to run. So here's our homepage. Please watch the welcome video. And here is where our syllabus is located right here under Get Started Syllabus. So I'm going to pull that up and go through this. All right, here's my name, Charles Kelligan. Just please call me Charles. My email address, if you need to contact me with anything, is C-R-K-E-L-L -L at ccri.edu. The purpose of this course is to enable students to write fluent, accurate, and effective essays, including research and documentation assignments. This class is a distance learning, which means we will not be meeting. I will be posting or will have posted videos that walk through the class, uh, all the lessons, the assignments, everything, you know, from the papers that are due to the discussion boards to introductions, thesis statements, body paragraphs, conclusions, in-text citations, MLA format, works cited, all that stuff. It is your responsibility to watch and take notes on these videos. Even though we are not meeting, the course syllabus will structure the class, and I think this is easier. It'll structure the class based on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, this will help guide you where you should be when you're completing the readings and assignments, and will structure and give the class some semblance of, of what you should be doing. Everything will be located on our Blackboard site. Again, it's your job to keep up with the readings, the work, and basically what's going on in the class. You need to be proficient and comfortable navigating Blackboard. If at any time during the semester you feel lost or if you want to work on and cover additional topics, it's your job to let me know. The class will be available on weekly sessions on our Blackboard page. So if you go to weekly sessions here, I have each week set up and I'm going to walk through these in a moment after the syllabus. So week one, uh, there's, there's a video on paper one, handouts on the paper and all this stuff, pages from a textbook I scan that'll help guide you. So I'll, I'll come back to that in a moment. Learning outcomes. At the end of this course, and this is what all of our assignments and what we're working on is geared toward. Follow the writing process and principles of various assignments. Use standard English grammar and mechanics. Adapt a writing style that aids and enhances communication. Apply critical thinking skills to all steps of the writing process. You know, why, why are you choosing to write what you write, the, the steps, all that. Analyze, evaluate, and synthesize several valid sources of information to produce well-reasoned and original essays in accepted academic format. Examine and assess own and others' writing. Develop information literacy skills. Uh, and research, our final paper is a research paper social, cultural, historical implications to produce a six to eight page paper that integrates quoted and paraphrased material with MLA documentation. No required book for the course. All the readings and handouts I will provide and are available on our Blackboard. Uh, so my, my apologies, I, again, I'm not gonna read everything word for word. A lot of this pertains to in-person class. A quick note on email, though. Uh, let's be mindful of each other's time. You know, please don't, it, it, obviously, if you have a content question about the paper, if you're stuck with something about the paper, the assignments, email me. The, you know, don't email me, you know, when something due, how much points is it worth. All, all these things are available on Blackboard. Let's be mindful of each other's time with this. All right, so if you have a content question, for example, if you're struggling with paper one, please email me and we'll talk about it. But if you just want to know the due date or how much points the, the thing's worth, that's all available on Blackboard. Um, here's, the, here's what you're concerned with, the grading policy. And here's how I set up all my courses. I base them off a thousand points. This is easy to gauge your grade here, right? So if you end up with 940 points, you have a 94%. Uh, one, we have three discussion boards and professionalism. This is basically 
following class guidelines, turning in your discussion boards on time, that each discussion board, which I'm going to make a separate video for that, are geared toward the, the papers you're working on. Uh, please turn these things in on time and follow the directions. And then we have four papers. That's it. Three discussion boards and four papers. Paper one and paper two are more personal and a, are a little bit shorter. Paper three and paper four will be your incorporation of outside sources, including in-text citations and a works cited page in MLA format. And that's the grade breakdown. That's the class. You know, if you successfully complete and follow the guidelines on these papers, you'll do really well. I want everyone to do really well in this class. Again, it's your job to keep up with the readings, the work, and basically what's going on. Uh, you need to be proficient and comfortable navigating the online learning, Blackboard and all that stuff, uh, etc. All right. Uh, here's the class schedule. And so week one, July 2nd, basically class introduction. Please look at the class, read the syllabus, look at the assignment one. And these pages that I scanned from the book are geared toward the class and assignment one. All I want you to do is read those pages. You don't have to answer any of the questions or do anything extra with the pages, but look at them. Obviously, July 4th is a holiday. So this is just up here. I'm not expecting you to complete anything uh, for that. So you see the syllabus on the handout here. If you go back to the Blackboard page and weekly sessions, week one, so the weekly sessions mirror the syllabus. There's the paper one handout right here. Here's my video that walks through paper one. Here are some pages. Uh, notes on a thesis statement, MLA format, all this stuff that works toward paper one. So week two, your first discussion board is going to be due Monday. I'm, I, again, I have a video for that. The paper one, we have a quick turnaround. So the first paper is due on Tuesday. So you got paper one due and then there's the paper two handout. If you go to week two, there's my video on paper two. There's the paper two handout. I have notes on paper two, all this stuff. And basically the weekly sessions I have on our Blackboard page mimic the weekly sessions here. So you have paper one, paper two, paper three, and our research paper. That's it. And you got the three discussion boards in there. So that's the syllabus. It's, it's pretty uh, bare bones, stripped down. I hate, I don't like a lot of busy work. I'd rather you put all of your time and energy into the papers and do well in the papers than do a bunch of busy work. That's the syllabus. Please close read it, live it, love it. Get back to me with any questions. Um, a couple quick notes on our Blackboard page. So if you see here too, I have the assignments located in weekly sessions. In the videos for the assignments, I walk through how, how you turn those in. On the, the, third, the third link down our toolbar are the assignments. They're already up there. There's paper one with the video, paper two with the video, paper three, and our final paper. Those are all up there. Um, discussion boards are here. Again, I'm gonna make a separate video for the discussion boards. Those are all up there. A couple other quick things. I have under on our Blackboard page writing resources that I have all these things on introductions, thesis statements, body paragraphs, conclusions, in-text citations, notes on work cited, sample outline and notes, conclusions. That's up here. Uh, when we get into our third and fourth papers, I have all these links on in-text citations and works cited, and a couple of our discussion boards are geared toward these. So everything, everything you want to know about introductions, thesis statements, body paragraphs, conclusions, in-text citations, and works cited, it's all here. You have videos, you have handouts, you have all, all these tools here. So here's a handout on an, a link with MLA formatting. So all these 
videos, handouts, links on MLA formatting. So everything you need for the class will be located on the toolbar on Blackboard. Yeah. So that's basically it. You know, I, I want this class to be not too difficult. You know, if you follow along and do the papers and follow directions and the formatting and all that stuff, you'll do really well. So that's just a quick setup of the syllabus, the class and all that stuff. Again, please email me if you have any questions about the syllabus or the class.